Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a house plant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. I would like to invite you to our new plant studio. So in this video, I will be setting up the whole studio. It actually took about five days to do all this. So I'll show you the process as well as give you a quick tour because it's not just a studio as you will soon learn. It's also a nursery, uh, it's, our, it's our classroom. Um, so I've actually moved all of my plants, literally 99% of my plants down here, from even from the balcony, from the front of the dining room, uh, so I could take care of them more efficiently this way. And without further ado, uh, let's get started. So there's the pool, and back here we actually have a secret outdoor area, and this is the space that we're gonna work with. And obviously, as you can see here, there's an outdoor shower and a sink. So people actually use this after they use the pool. And in here, we have a bathroom and a shower uh, room. Um, yeah, so this is the space that we're going to work with. Ooh, and uh, that's actually uh, north, so a little bit northeast, actually. So the sun currently is in the noon, so the sun is right above us. So there's going to be some direct sunlight. But as you can see, I'm going to squat down. From here, it's actually a very narrow window where there's direct sunlight. I would say a good two to three hours in a day. Uh, other than that, this space is gonna be getting uh, bright indirect sunlight all day long. Oh my god, I'm drenched in sweat. <laughs> okay, so I'm going with this layout for now. Uh, it's gonna look so much better with plants, trust me. And it's gonna give me a little bit of privacy as I film a lot of the repotting stuff here. So it's gonna be my work table. I have a dilemma here. The floor is actually uh, just soil and pebble. And it's very, very uneven. I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can get lower for you. It's very, very uneven. It's higher in some areas. <laughs> so I'm, this, I'm gonna take a, a, a while to secure these in place. As you see, this really moves. And uh, <laughs> for your information, Indonesia is on the ring of fire, so we get a lot of uh, earthquakes here. Um, so one of the ways I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out how to get these two. I'm gonna like uh, slip some pebbles down, so I'm gonna make sure this is standing. And uh, another way that I can secure these is actually, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I can just tie these together since it's an, it's an L shape. See, if I tie it together, I'm, I'm trying to move it now. It doesn't really fall, it won't topple. So if I, I uh, 
the reason why I have this laid out like this is so that I could just tie them in an L shape like this and then they would be very secure. So yeah, I might have to run back to Ace Hardware to get more stuff. But meanwhile, I'm actually going to start moving the plants around. So yeah, so here are my random plants. I'm going to have to move them over there. Uh, I place them here because this gets an east uh, facing uh, direction. So it's got really good direct morning light. And the plants are happy, they're growing quite fast. And here are some super random plants. Uh, they're just all over the place, as you can see. And my dad has been complaining about my plants because they're just everywhere. Uh, these are rehabbing, they're not doing so well. Uh, they need a bit of attention. Uh, so yeah, there's some uh, climbing on the fall over here. So I will move these plants, I will consolidate them to one area. Can you imagine like watering all these plants? Because I, have to, I actually go from section to section every morning and sometimes twice a day if it's really hot uh, to water the plant. So I'm really happy to have that area where I can uh, kind of style them, but at the same time uh, have an area where I can look over all of them at the same time. <laughs> Here's some more and give them uh, like um, an area where they can be cared for at, together. <laughs> Sorry. And hopefully that will become an area where, you know, if somebody enters, you can immediately feel the humidity because there's just so many plants grouped together. Some more over here and some more down there that are rehabbing. So yeah, I'm going to start moving these plants over and I'm going to arrange them onto the shelves. And we are back in my balcony and I know that we were just here uh, rearranging the balcony two weeks ago and the plants seem to be happy with the new arrangement. And I'm trying to put on sandals. Um, but my repotting area is going to move obviously. I'm going to move everything to uh, that table. But I'm also thinking a lot of th this table I may actually move. I know I, I just moved them here two weeks ago. But I want this area maybe to be uh, stress free. Uh, so all my plant care will be allocated to just that one area. So I'm gonna have a cleaner balcony. I'm gonna still have a few plants because I wanna enjoy having some plants on my balcony, but it's not gonna look like this anymore. So here is one last look. I may actually keep this because this looks pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I want a stress-free life from now on. So, so I'm gonna get started. There's another trolley of plants that I need to take care of. But meanwhile, here is what we have today. 
Uh, I will continue tomorrow, so I will be back. Uh, the camera lost its battery a while back, so I lost the time lapse. And yeah, I'm also not feeling the camera right now. I'm so tired, so I will see you tomorrow. So I'm on the third day. I actually spent yesterday going to the hardware stores to buy more shelves, so I assembled them. I bought probably about 10 more of those because I realized I have way too many plants to fit those two shelves back here. And also it's like super hot. I'm, I'm getting really sunburned and I just noticed that this area actually gets a lot of direct sunlight. So I'm gonna have to in, um, install some shade cloth, probably ad hoc for now because I'm not gonna get people to come in here to work. So I'm just gonna figure out how to do that. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna film the rest of the process because I noticed that if I film, it's just gonna take too long. This project is much bigger than I had originally thought. So I'm gonna have to spend a few more days on here and I'm gonna show you the results when I'm done. Give you a quick tour. So I'll see you then. So let me quickly show you the footage of what the space looks like before. 
And now I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. So here are some propagates going on. Uh, here are some of the more sun-loving plants. They can take uh, maybe two to three hours of direct sunlight. I've got some medium light plants going down below. A lot of propagation projects. Uh, here's the fern section. It's shaded by this tree, so it's gonna get uh, pretty much uh, bright indirect light all the time. Here is my sort of jungle section where I have a lot of my ripsalis. I have an anthurium. Uh, a lot of things that are just th giving you that jungle vibe here. Uh, some dishkidias. Uh, here is the Spanish moss. And uh, yeah, and right here we have some uh, recovering plants. They are the ones that need some kind of attention. And this is getting bright indirect light because the sun is mostly uh, that way above the above us. And here are some pots of dead plants, but I'm not giving up on them yet because sometimes they do come back. So I'm going to leave it here for now. And this is going to be my orchid section. And there's some cute uh, orchids over here. And this one has come alive actually. Um, so yeah, I'm, I have my orchids here because I need to spray them from both sides, from here and in the back. So I need to kind of miss them every day. Uh, yeah, and you should spray your orchids down every day if you're outdoors, by the way. And up here, I get some uh, plants that are more rosette-like, where they can get uh, even light from uh, up top. So we've got this anthurium that faces both directions, we've got anthurium pyronervium, because they, they will appreciate the light that's coming from both sides of the rack. While on this side, the plants are getting light only from uh, one end of the shelf. So up here, we have some sun-loving philodendrons, the uh, Parasol verde, uh, uh, Berlamarx uh, variegated, and uh, some Syngonium variegated. So these are, <laughs> that's, I just cut it up last week. So it's, ooh, and it's putting out new growth. So yeah, I, I was propagating it. And down here we have some medium light plants, uh, Aglonema, some begonias, this is this color. And down here is my Peperomia rack. I don't really like my Peperomias down here only because I like to squeeze the leaves. Uh, this is firm. Uh, I like to squeeze the leaves to know if I should water them or not. And I, this way I have to actually squat down each time, which is, can be good for my legs. I don't need to work out on my legs as much if I keep squatting down to, to pet my peperomias. This is a medium. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the plant is up here. <laughs> yeah, it's throwing a lot of runners. So yeah, this is sort of my medium bright indirect light loving plants. Here's my bright indirect light loving plants with dappled uh, direct sunlight as you can see now. So a lot of my variegated monsteras are here. Sharonii is now living here. Um, some uh, philodendron white knight. And down here are some calatheas and they're gonna get watered lightly every day. Uh, and here's some philodendrons. Um, this is my cool plants rack where all my cool plants are living. By the way, this here's that Adansonia. I, I know I promised you guys to update them. So here's the Adansonia I variegated that's putting out a new leaf. So I'm very excited about that. So yeah, and then there's some ZZ plants up there that I can kind of forget about them because I don't need to water them very often and they get direct sunlight. Uh, let me turn around. So back here we have again the orchids. Uh, let me see. And we have some begonias here because this is uh, more uh, medium to low light. And then uh, some Hoyas. This is my Hoya me uh, medium light Hoyas. Here are my bright indirect light Hoyas that get uh, morning direct sunlight. Uh, Dishkidias and here we have more Hoyas. <laughs> and uh, up there I put all my uh, direct sunlight plants. Like here we just have a lot of uh, oreganos, uh, some of the uh, direct light loving Hoyas. Um, and here I'm actually doing a, a filming soon, so all my, all my piece leaves are, are on the table right now uh, for a show, uh, a, a video that I'm doing. And here we have that um, sort of hanging plants that need to be misted every day, that's how you water them. So we have, you know, the staghorn, Hoya imbricata, we have Hopertia, Dishkidia, and all that good stuff. And then here we have the uh, Fidelay fig that likes direct sunlight, and, and as, you can, as you can see, it's getting pretty plenty of good uh, direct sunlight for about four to six hours a day. Um, so let me come around the back to the the backdrop here. I've got a Dracaena and here's the uh, Dishkidia that's just hanging out. Uh, it's beautiful fern that's giving me a really beautiful backdrop. I hope that it keeps climbing higher and higher. And here's one of my Monsteras that are 
that is growing really well. Um, I chucked the bird nest fern in there and uh, yeah, some anthuriums. This begonia is just so beautiful. <laughs> nice. So yeah, that's my backdrop. And if you have me, you're facing this way. This is, yeah, this is facing away from the nursery. So this is what I look at whenever I'm filming. And this is my table. So I hope you guys like the setup that I have here because we'll be spending uh, countless of months or maybe even years over here uh, while we will create some really fond memories and learn a lot of really cool stuff about plant care and propagations. Uh, if you enjoyed contents like this, please do subscribe to my channel, send me likes, comment down below, um, at Botanist on Instagram, so keep in touch on there. Uh, meanwhile, do take care and I will see you in the next video.